You ever been in a situation where someone stole your blue, the circle's closing and you have to get out before you die? Red portals are your savior. Red portals aren't even scary. I can teach you exactly what you need to do for every mob type in every room. Welcome to my masterclass of health. Not the puggers spawn, guys. Not the puggers. Why are they so synced? Come on. Yeah, let's go. Alright, we're chilling, guys. We'll wait for the red portals here. Let's find some reds, maybe. There we go. All right. Lesson number fucking one, guys. All right. This room? This room is pretty easy. This one, I mean, you just fight the skeleton. I the wrong sword equipped, but that's good. You don't even need to clear this room. But if you do want to clear this room, uh, the skeleton up top usually doesn't aggro. But if it does, it's not a big deal. The minotaur at top, you can also aggro if you want. It's pretty straightforward. For this one, though, I'd suggest going here. And you can aggro the dogs and the bats from here. This stuff doesn't deal that much damage. There's a gargoyle right here. But the gargoyle will not aggro if you just jump here. You're chilling. So you can aggro the dogs very easily. I'm gonna kill one. With bow. And if you sit right here, they will not attack you. And you can find the sweet spot to kind of get them uh, into the right angle. So if you move, they move. And you can just hit them from close or bait them off with an attack. And then just go back up here. And they can't get up here. And you can just, whatever, like, wait for their attacks. Hit them. Rangers can shoot them. Wizards can shoot them, etc. So again, the other dog, same way. I'm gonna aggro him. So generally, mobs can go up or down from places unless they attack. So right now, he's gonna be stuck here. But if I get close to him, or that's close enough, I guess, he will attack. And then he can jump off of heights. And the same way, the only way they can get up is if they walk on, like, an angle or if they attack. So you can bait the attack to make him fall down. Same with mummies and shit, too. Any, any class can do anything. Daggers, you just have to be mindful of not getting hit. That's all. And then if you want to kill the Garg, I suggest you shoot it. But also, if there's a Garg, you just walk around in a circle. It'll never hit you, really. Dogs, you can just go left around. Wait for attack left around. This room is really straightforward as well. The Archer is a little scary here. Archer's always a little scary. You have to kind of respect them. But all the other four mobs in this room, there's two dogs, there's the big general, and then there's the minotaur. Right here on this side of the room, right there, if you stand there, none of them can hit you, and you can just melee them or shoot them or whatever from right there. It's super straightforward. Uh, if you fall down here, it's not a big deal either. This is also a really good way of dealing with mobs, is you can bait the scary mobs away into a different room. So here he comes, and I'll just run a circle on this. And then just close the door on him. Like, that makes it a lot easier. And this is the cheese I was stuck. Oh, I would kill the archer first. You can jump up here. And just keep jumping on the outer edge right here. And get ultimate height on all the mobs right here. Makes it really easy to shoot them or throw stuff at them. And then melee. You can just jump on top of the health shrine. And kill from there as well. Health shrine is pretty good. Just the rangers will hit you. But you can just climb here. And you can sit up here and attack them as well. So like right here, they'll get stuck. They might still swing at you, but like you're chilling. Even the champion, you can jump and attack from here. Really straightforward. All the mobs in here, except for the rangers, you can kill like this. And then as long as you have one invis pot, this is like the meta thing to do. You go through the boss room and the boss works like this. When you step foot outside here, you aggro, de-aggro the boss. And when you step foot past here, you aggro it. So all you gotta do is just walk here and invis pot to drop aggro, it'll reset. 
And then you can open the doors to go to wherever you need to go. There's another player in here though, so. And the same thing, you can just run across the entirety of hell, pop an invis potion to reset him and then open the door. Gotta be aware of this room. It gets a little frustrating, but there's an archer up there that you can aggro and it'll shoot you from top down. If this spot works on all mobs, but not all mobs reset to their original position. Only bosses consistently do that. This room is straightforward. You can't really fuck this room up. You just kill the few skeletons that actually appear on your screen. Okay, missed three out of three, cool. I hear them. They're above me. I don't want to fight that. Oh, I could have killed them, actually. They're not that geared. But bards... Oh, it's double bard. Never mind. They probably didn't have darknessing. What are these shit spawns, bro? I might just clear this room and chill in here. He's in there. I've never seen anyone actually go in there. Oh no, it's coming for me, chat. What am I gonna do? Oh, what am I gonna do? Cool. Is he finally gonna stop chasing me or what? This room right here, the south room, is a very scary room. But there's a very simple way to deal with all of the mobs in here. I'm gonna teach you guys exactly how to do it. There's three mobs that, that you have to worry about here. Mage, big guy, and dogs. The dogs are very easy. And the big guys are very easy as well. You're gonna break that wood. The easiest way to kill dogs is to kill uh, kill them through the door like this. So you just aggro a dog, close the door on them. Any class can do this, and you can hit their head through the door. And that's how easy it is. And then the big guy is very easy as well. To kill the big guy, all you gotta do is, first of all, just aggro him. I'm just gonna shoot him real quick to show you guys how to do it. There he is. Come here, buddy. I'm just getting him low so you can see it faster. You get him in the room. You can either lock him in here if you don't want to kill him. Or if you want to kill him, either with a bow or a rapier, you can just kill him here. Very straightforward. If you don't want to cheese him, you just learn his attack pattern. He always goes down left or down right. And you can just walk to the left and walk to the right while hit him. And then there's the skeleton mage, which generally you do like... You just get them on a corner and bait their shots. All right, let's do the next room now. This is a little bit of a cursed room, but it's the same thing. There are dogs. Get them on the door. There's a minotaur. I suggest minotaurs, unless you have heights to work with. You have the big guy right here. You can do the same thing. You pull him into the room, kill him in the same way. I'm going to just do it. Wait, he's already glitched on the torch. I'm not sure how that happened. But you just pull him in here. Or you uh, put the dogs on the door. Very simple. I'm going to go next door now. Same way, I'll have an invis pot so I can reset the boss. And I'll show you exactly how it works. Past this line, like imaginary line right here from these pillars to pillars, just before the torch. Here. You spawn the boss, it aggro's on you. It'll stay aggroed on you even if you're here. And the instant you walk out of the boss room, boom. It de -aggros. So the idea is, as long as you're here, you're chilling. Once you take a step over here, it'll aggro the boss. And you can just open that door directly if you have resourcefulness or if you're safe. And you have to run across the entire map, which I'm going to do right now. 
There's someone here. And this pot was restarted. I'm a little worried about this room, though. I'm gonna go open this door real quick so I can run away. I think they're super geared. So I gotta run them into a bunch of mobs here. Oh, he dropped on me. Oh, I'm dead. How is he alive? Okay, they have to be so geared. I hit that warlock, what, eight times, I think? Seven times, probably? Yeah, they are super fucking geared. They suck, though. You guys saw I almost put moves on them. Is he full magical healing? Is that why? Magical healing. Magical healing. Magical healing. Magical healing. Yeah. Oh, seven. Hello there. Just a silly little guy. I'm a what? I know he's not healing himself to PvP me right now, right? Yo, what? I thought we had a thing! Wait, he definitely just bubbled himself because he wants to fight me. Who the fuck invited this guy? Wait, how did he have like just like a bunch of uh, Haku? He had like a bunch of- Oh, what the fuck? That hits so hard, it's probably a rogue. Rangers can't hit that hard. At least he brought in gear. Are those reds? Please be reds. No, it's a blue. Bro, what is happening? Why are there so many people here?
Dude, I don't know. I think... Can I still go red? Probably, right? Yeah, fuck it. All right. So let's show this room. So here, there's two dogs. Gargle down there. Minotaur up top. Aggro the dog. Close the door. And you're chilling. The other... You can bait the attacks too because the dogs can bite each other. But if you want to just fight the dogs normally, it is a very easy fight. You get the dog. Wait for its attack. Walk in a circle. Hit him. Wait for the attack. Walk in a half circle. Hit him. It's super straightforward. This is a lich, so... We have another easy room here to clear. This is a very simple room. I'm not gonna show all of it. But clerics can run up here and use their AoE. You just want to kill the archers. It's the only thing that'll fuck you up. Rangers can kill them like this. Rogues can kill them like this. What you can do is, if you don't want to range them, you can kind of get here and bait its attacks. Wait for the second shot so you don't have to risk it. And then just get a kill on it. You can always get one hit here too if you're right below. You can jump hit, crouch hide, jump hit, crouch hide. Like you attack and then jump. And then the other mobs are super normal. There's just the skeletons. You can cheese all the skeletons below by just going up here. So the skeletons that are on the side right here, you can very easily cheese them by just putting them right here. And you can just sit on the high ground above them with any ability. So as long as the archers aren't shooting you, this room is super fucking free. It's pretty hard to see them though. You can also do this with melee weapons. Uh, I have to get him over here, I think, to hit him with my rapier. Alright, next I'm gonna show you guys the gargoyle room. This is a skeleton mage room. This room is a little scary. What I usually do is I try to body aggro the bats. And I try to let a bat in. Even if not, the bats will kill each other or die to the skeleton mage like this. And then if you get the skeleton mage close enough on the door, the fire will kill the mage as well. I'm just gonna open the door now. I'm just gonna shoot them. So I can show you the other way of dealing with it. You bait him to attack you. And then walk around a corner like this. And you want to get him into the fire. So here he is. Oh, he bubbled himself. He can't take damage during this. But you just get him onto a corner or a wall. And the fire will deal damage to himself too. This works on the first floor too. The bubble doesn't make it possible. I don't think he takes that much damage at all. But he, he just died. He died. You can do this with corners. You can do this with doors. You can do this with anything. Uh, even like these small luck torches that pop up. And then another dog. Same way. Walk a circle over the door. Mummies. We don't fuck with mummies. Just beware. Killing mummies is actually necessary though. You can kill them normally. These are zombies actually. But their gas can go through doors. And if you're in hell and they're nightmare zombies, that gas is really problematic. So you can't lock them out. But every other mob in the game you can. Oh, I could show this Minotaur probably. I'm gonna kill the Garg though. Gargs are same as dogs. As long as you have enough move speed, just walk in a circle, they'll never hit you. Where's the Minotaur? He should be pathing down here and I can get him real quick. Oh, there he is. Okay, so what I do, I get him on the edge. I bait him to attack me by jumping into him. And I want the attack that brings him down, down below. I think I need to get him on the stairs. And then make him swing. Yeah, there you go. I'm dead. Just kidding. You can be more patient with it, but once he's stuck down here, you can just boop him. And you're chilling. So he can't fall up shit or fall down shit unless he does one of his attacks that moves him off. I think you can get him here. I think it's this torch is blocking him. So you get him on the stairs. But this works in every other room. There's one of these two. If you can get him down below you, he's a free kill always. Centaur, Minotaur, Demon Centaur, you're right. And there are legitimate ways of killing it. But the thing is, I'm a huge fan of putting them in positions where they can't fuck you over. Because if you end up having to fight a um, another player or something, they can screw you over. So putting them in a position where they can't do that is really good. And eventually they'll be patched and you'll find another way of dealing with it. There's a few other ways. Like you can have, if you have teammates, they can block them indoors with a shield up like this. And you can shoot them. Same with gargles too. Gargles, if you get them from above especially, they won't be able to hit the person that's sitting like this. But if they have a shield, they're chilling. Let's go home. There's a player here. There's a bard. Is that Ayo what? Oh, that's our, that's my bard. It's the guy. It's the guy. He, he's, it's my bard. I paid him in the tavern. 50 gold under the desk. Sl 
I'm at Denny's. I got that fucking maple syrup foot job. Good. <laughs> good. Okay, we're running out of time. Do you guys have portals or not? Well, you're out though, so... I'm a shadow wizard of health. We're good. Like JJ. Okay, this is a bit of a cursed room. Well, let's take a little seat for a second, get my spells back. Um, for this room, as long as we are standing on top of shit, the spiders can't hit us. Um... Super cool. I could move my character for sure. I broke it. it. I got mine. There's one more I can break. Now, we must kill the spiders. <laughs> Pull out the torch. Watch out, Lauren. Fucking torch. Ah. Very nice, very nice. Okay, this room is a little cursed. The best way to kind of do this room... I don't have any spells, for it, but... We open this, I go aggro the gargoyle, and then you just close the gate and kill the gargoyle through the gate. I don't have that many spells. Chat also in one FPS when you play this game. Oh, I'll use Chatterino, so Chatterino's fine. Come back, Lauren. You have a rapier, right? Can you stab him through the grates here? I dropped a drum there. Why am I dying? Zone? Or are you standing in the goo? There's a doggy there. What do I do? I'll kill it. You just chill. You can sit on this little block right here. And they cannot hit you. I mean, if you sit in the wrong spot, they can. But the dogs can't reach you. The archer can I'm still hit you, obviously. Why would you think of the prime? Generally, what I'll do, though, is like I still want to kill the centaur, but I don't like killing it here because he can still kind of get up on top of other mobs and glitch. It's happened one time. I had PTSD. Uh, if you want to deal, you kill the wraith by clicking this lever, it, it just can't hit you if you're on the bridge. You're just chilling on the wraith. The wraith cannot hit you. You just sit on the bridge right here. It can't reach you as long as you're crouching. And then the centaur, if you want to get the centaur into a safe spot, you aggro him to the edge here. And then you jump so he attacks. And then he falls down. And then he's stuck down here, and you can just go back up. And now you can kill him any way you want. It's fine, you guys are waiting. Who is he talking to? I'm talking to you guys! I'm trying to teach! I can't kill him. 